I'll say like in a case like this, if you see it's hard to, let me say this, it depends on the circumstance, but it's hard to imagine the same circumstances, say with regard to a white candidate. Anytime you try to put a question in this country as though blacks and whites are the same, uh, you're going to really get a, 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 a question that's almost nonsensical. Uh, uh, I uh, have had white contributors in the past, and I'm not boasting that I did not have a white contributor. Maybe an overall uh, 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 what do you call it, campaign cycle, I mean, uh, hopefully I had some white contributors, certainly some of the members of the unions who endorsed me, you know, if you're in Seattle, endorsed me and so forth, or white. Uh, 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 but what happens here, you see, is uh, uh, the press has more credibility among whites than blacks. And so for all that period where they ran the lies about Zaire, that caused a lot of whites, maybe who would have contributed, not to. But you don't have any credibility among in the black community, you may not realize that. And as a consequence, it doesn't intimidate blacks to the same extent. And I think that the reason for the proportion that's black that made the contribution is your fault. The Dr. gentleman uh, here. Andy Shaw with uh, Channel 7 in Chicago. Could you just tell us in simple terms what you think was either dangerous or... No, I couldn't even say. You know, how would Gus Savage were the myth that you have created of him in the press, and I was white, I wouldn't contribute to him either, if I were that myth. But the truth of the matter is that myth is no more real than he's still fuckstable. Congressman, can you just tell us what's wrong or un-American or dangerous about the level of APAC-related contributions to Mr. Reynolds in that campaign? You, what the, what, I come you to said very clearly that you meant nothing anti-Semitic by your comments. What did you mean to no, say? No, I didn't say that. I said there was nothing anti-Semitic. Right. No, not meant. There is nothing anti-Semitic in what I said. If you have any question about something I said, if you claim it's anti-Semitic, ask about it. No, I, I wasn't oh. saying anything was. Okay. But some people feel that the remarks and the tone were in fact anti-Semitic, <coughs> so explain to us now... What's, what's an anti-Semitic tone? We explain to them. You know what you like? You like somebody that's black who gets off soft and is inoffensive. I ain't that damn black. So, you know, I'm not that kind of black. You know, if you want to determine how I talk, how soft I talk, how loudly I talk, how, you know, that's, that really, that really comes, approaches close to racism. I don't tell you how to talk. I don't care if you have an accent. I'm talking about a tone. What was wrong with the tone? Okay. It has nothing to do with, just tell us, if you would, what you found objectionable in Mr. Reynolds receiving all of that money from eight that related. Oh, very good, very good. Oh, very good. Let me because answer that. Let me, oh, no, no, let me answer that. Yes, let me answer That's a very good question. That's a very good question. What's wrong with it is that a one issue group, in this case, uh, 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 the lobby for, for uh, you know, our money going to Israel and, and the policies of Israel, uh, a, a group that lobbies for the, the foreign policy, or the policy that is of a foreign nation, to then take that issue into a congressional district such as mine and try to make the, the election be determined by where a candidate stands on that issue is a disgrace, in my estimation. And that's why I think it's wrong with it. May I follow the congressman? If the, labor, you, if the labor unions are correct in contributing to you because you have a good stance right. on labor right. issues, why would people connected to APAC oh, not be good. equally oh, legitimate in trying to teach oh, you the big deal that you got to support? Very good question. Very good question. The difference you see is this. Most of the workers in my district belong to labor unions, not APAC. So labor issues are at the heart of representation of the second district of Illinois. If you ever look at its socioeconomic profile, it is a it is a, 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 a industrial or, or district uh, with a high percentage of uh, labor uh, membership. Uh, so AFL CIO is indigenous to the district, and the issues they represent are the key issues in the campaign, which is why I have such a high uh, labor rating. But that is not the same. That's American. Uh, uh, the problem of jobs, the problem of, 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 uh, of 
wages and working conditions. That's, Amer that's an American problem. I'm saying to go into that district and take, try to take over an election and determine that its representative be based on where he stands with regard to the Middle East issue. It's altogether different. Make no comparison between those two things. There's nothing un-American about labor, but this, this, this APAC is, is supportive of a foreign nation. And that's very dangerous when the support of a foreign nation can pour 90-some percent of the money into a domestic campaign. Very, very dangerous. Next question. Now, you got two next Richard Tory with the Washington Bureau. He's a strong speech. You can agree to that. Do you think that there's anybody... I'm a strong man. Do you think you have anybody... Not the people that I've survived. And I've survived most of you. you I think the strong man you have. From that speech, do you think you offended anybody and have anybody to apologize to about anything? No, have to tell me. You don't think I should apologize for it? You tell me? Because, you know, I'm so close to it, I wrote it and said it, so maybe I'm too close to it. Do you see something that's apologize about? I'm asking. Well, then, if you didn't see one, why do you think I did? Another, did I get you yet? No. Okay, go right here. Uh, Nolan Walters, Knight Ritter Newspapers. You have said that APAC's opposition to you is uh, based on your voting on the Israeli foreign I aid. I said, I'm not, no, that's not what I said. Is that what I said in that speech? That's the way I understood it. That well, you, you should play the speech again now. What I said in the speech was that I believe that one, almost one-third of our foreign budget, foreign assistance budget, going to Israel is wrong. I said that that, that should be reduced in order to increase the proportion that we send to sub-Saharan African nations. And with regard to the military component, I said that should be shifted to the African National Congress. That's what I said, and that's what I mean. Oh, sure. The question was, do you think that's really all that motivated the uh, APAC? Do you think it's could yes, possibly... Sir, I don't know of anything else. No, 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 let me answer that. Let me answer that, and that's good. I don't know of anything else. And that's my answer. I don't know of anything else. No, that's my answer. Yeah. I asked the two questions, I asked them both. I don't know of anything else. Well, I did the best I could. Good. You in your speech made reference to uh, DNC Chair Ron Brown and, and again in your press conference today talked a little bit about him. When he has mentioned that he has rebuked you and mm -hmm. said you sort of bore condemned. What do you mean? What do you mean by rebuke? What, what, what do you he mean? He has mean? indicated that he has made oh, clear you? to you that your remarks were not uh um, no You have That's not spoken right. with him? I have no communication with him. Do you feel anything about what he said about you? you I got no, I said I got, I've had no communication with Ron Brown. But you said he would be, yeah, I, I don't know nothing about it. Have you, do you have any feelings about what he said about your remarks? Do you care? Does what he does matter? Do I'm here to talk about this piece.